Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to touch base on two metal signs that I just recently got. This one I got last year, we're going to get a real close up look of it. It is based on the poster art with the Mohawk Zombie. Uh, it is very cool looking, as you can clearly see. And then I also have, which is probably one of the only YouTube videos, where I'm going to show you the Unita sign that is based or plastered on top of the actual warehouse where the actual human body comes to life and the dog comes to life you know pretty much chaos is happening and it's where the barrels are sitting down inside the basement for an ungodly amount of years but anyway there is a sign that's plastered right on the front part of the uh, warehouse I did get a metal sign on it I didn't see anything on YouTube that actually shows this particular sign so we're going to go into that and we're going to get into a very close look so you can get a good idea on whether you want to invest in this because it cost me like $27 for this sign it is well worth it uh, only because it is a lot bigger than I thought it is and I'm going to show you what I mean by that because when I opened it up I thought it was about the size of this one here but no it's quite bigger than this one here but anyway let's get into a close-up shot of the poster art based on this particular metal sign now as you can hear it is made of a metal okay like aluminum or something okay now if you see a glare there I'm sorry about that but anyway this is what the poster art looks like let me pull this back a bit okay now let's just let's push this back okay all right there we go guys I will pull it in close so you can get close up on the details. It's very cool looking. Now I have this hanging up on my wall next to my uh, four Trick or Treat Studios masks based on the Return of the Living Dead. I do have the Mohawk Zombie, the Party Skull. I also have uh, the Trash Zombie uh, mask as well as the uh, Tar Man. So yeah, I got all the masks so far. Unless I come out with some new ones. Okay, so let's get close up on this here, so you can see the detail. Okay, I want them to actually do a mask based on this one here. She would be absolutely cool looking. Okay, now I'm going to show you the back of this. Now you'll notice right here in the corners, and they do have holes on all four corners. So you can use uh, thumbtacks and just plant it right on the wall. Now when I first got this, some jackass decided to go ahead and stuff it into the mailbox. Even though this sign is bigger than the mailbox, they decided to go ahead and do that. And it bent it a little bit, but I did straighten it out pretty good for the most part. But anytime you order a sign like this, make sure they don't put it in your mailbox unless your mailbox is big enough to handle it. Alright, now the one that I got, now you can see the little crease right there. Right there. It's all dented because I had a... I had to straighten it out and stuff. Yeah, it's just a big mess when they stuff it in the damn mailbox. Kind of pisses me off when they do shit like that. But anyway, that is the back of it. Okay, it is made of a metal. So, and it's based on the poster art, which is very cool looking. Now let's get into the super huge Unita sign. This thing is absolutely gigantic. I just got this today, okay? There you go guys. This thing here is roughly 24 inches wide and maybe 10 inches height wise. It's a pretty decent sized sign as you can see. This is going to look good on my wall next to my masks. So when I get done with this I am going to take a picture and I'm going to post it on this video if I can. Okay. But anyway it's a very cool looking sign and it's very reminiscent to the one that uh, shows on the warehouse and stuff been wanting this thing it costs like $27 for this particular sign and in my opinion it is well worth it okay and it was bigger than I thought okay so that was a surprise it was a good surprise for me but anyway let's get a close-up look again this one here when it came in they didn't put it in the mailbox but because of the size of it and the way it was packed uh, it was a little how can I say as you can see it is a little warped so we got to do a little bit more bending to it just to stretch it out. Alright, but it came in, it was a little curved. So 
So I had to kind of bend it, bend it, bend it, bend it, bend it, just so I can get a semi straight. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, well, that's what she looks like. She's still a little warped, but if I put it against the wall, it should be fine. Keep in mind when you do order these things here, make sure that they drop it off on your front porch or something, so they don't go stuffing this damn thing into your mailbox and stuff. This is bigger than when it comes in package-wise. It is huge, so they won't be sticking it in your mailbox, okay? Just hope they don't put it on to the side where somebody will say, Oh, look at that. Let me pick that up and take it with me. <laughs> but anyway, let's get a close-up look of the actual sign. So you can see the actual color detail. You need a, you need a medical supplies, my friends. You need it. We got it. None larger. Let's pull that in a little closer so you can see the ready. All right. It's a very cool sign. It's going to look great against my masks. And like I said, I'll take a picture of it. Now, as you can see back here, it does have a sticker on it. And it's Trick or Treat Studios. Okay, so keep this in mind. So it is a very good... Uh, sign and it is a thicker metal but like I said it is pliable and you got to be careful with it when you try to bend it and stuff so just keep that in mind okay and that's what she looks like all right oh that's cool right there the return of the living dead guys this is the only you need a sign video that I've seen so far and hopefully with you guys ordering yours and doing your own videos We'll get to see your interpretation of what this thing looks like, okay? But in the meantime, but that's pretty much it. I'm going to hang it up on the wall. And again, uh, towards the end of this video, you will see a picture of it next to the masks and uh, stuff. So I will give you a, a shot of that. That's towards the end of the video. But anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys at the next video because I am now going to concentrate on a Living Dead doll. I've been collecting them. I've got a total of seven of them right now. I've got two more on Big Bad Toy Store that's going to be coming in pretty soon once the pre-orders are available. But I decided to go ahead and order another one that I've always wanted. It is uh, um, Reagan from uh, The Exorcist, the 1973 movie. Um, it is the Living Dead Dob version of it. It is the bigger version. There is a smaller version of her. But I didn't like the looks of that one. I wanted something a little bit more detailed. So we're going to uh, touch base on that one in the next video. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys at the next video.